boy SBA Seal back with Millie coming to you live out Columbia, South Carolina. Shout out DME TV for the interview, man. Y'all already know. SBA, what's going on with your homie? I'm chilling, man. Cooling, man. Just came from my first official video shoot, man. Shout out to motherfucking Slizzle Beats, man. Okay. Got my dog doing that for me. We was doing that. We still got some work to do. And shit, we got that coming, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Okay. Shit, how long before y'all drop that? I don't know, man. Really depends, man. I got so much I'm trying to work on right now and trying to do it. At the same time, I've been doing a lot of networking, so I got a, a, a guy I'm dealing with out of Florida, man. I'm trying to do some work with him and work on a single with him. Okay. I got a guy I'm working with from... He from the islands, the Caribbean islands. Damn. I finish your music, man. He, okay. he got some good music too. Y'all go check him out, man. Go to my fan page, go to my page, link him in. He got some good music too. He helping me out, advising me on a couple different things. So I, I, I'm slowing a lot of things down. I was pushing a lot of music out, but I'm slowing a lot of things down now, trying to prepare myself to move forward and get on a different path and start taking this more mainstream and get more about a profit with it. I really was just trying to get people to hear my voice, man. You know, right. it's a lot of people know me, but not a lot of people knew I rap. Right. So I really was just trying to get people familiar with the idea of me rapping. That's why I released so much music on yeah. my Reverb Nation page so fast. So now we really pulling back and really working, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Farm Boy Dre, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my little brother. For all the work he put in for my shit, shout out to my dog Swerve. You already know, man. My dog believe in everything I do. So we just really, we got so much in the works, man. From the comedy, man, the books, man, the show, man. Just keep an eye out on us, man. Don't sleep on us, man. Don't think we out here fake. We out on the ground all day, every day, man. Trying to chase these dreams, man. Fuck with us, man. We link up. I'm out here in these streets. I pull up on you. It's nothing but a thing, man. Really, all right. really. All right. So, man, tell everybody where you from. Shit, man, I'm from, I was born in Jackson Terrace, man. If you from Columbia, South Carolina, you know what Jackson Terrace is, man. I was born in Jackson Terrace. Jackson Terrace is one of the first projects they tore down in Columbia, South Carolina. So when we, when they tore down the projects, we moved out to Jackson Terrace. I don't live almost everywhere in Columbia, but why I reside in my home is Leesburg Road. That's why I jumped off the porch at. That's why I know what I'm saying. That's right. why I, I, my name is known that, like, that's home right there for me, man. So I put on Leesburg. Shout out to everybody on Leesburg. Shout out to Woke Gang. Shout out to Look Good, man. Shout out to everybody down there on Leesburg Road. Y'all know I do this shit for y'all, man. That's where I'm from. That's where I'm at. We in Columbia, South Carolina all day, every day, man. I love this city, man. Look how beautiful this shit is, man. You can't get no better than this, man. You can't get no better than this. Oh, yeah. So, man, kind of tell us, you know, how was life coming up, uh, you know what I'm saying, down there in Little Richmond, Leesburg Road? In that area, man, for it's kind of wild, man, because like for a long time when we was real younger, man, when we was coming up, like our community was was an army based community because Fort Jackson is right there running down, so it was open. But like after that September 11th thing stuff happened, like all that shit closed down, so all those army families moved to the northeast side, so everything over there became section eight. Everybody moved out the projects down there, and that's when things down there got a little rough with. Like a lot of people don't, a lot of people not really familiar with Leesburg Road, you know what I'm saying, the way we are if you're from down there because Leesburg Road fairly big, man, but it's a lot going on down there. It ain't what, it ain't what you, it ain't what it appears. Yeah. But if you're not down there, you don't know that, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit, the hood, just like everything else, the hood is popping like air is popping everywhere else. It ain't no different than any other hood in any other city in any other state, like, Niggas really dying on Leesboro like they dying everywhere else. Niggas really getting money on Leesboro like they getting money everywhere else. Niggas really clowning on Leesboro Road and snitching like they clowning and snitching everywhere else. Right. So it's really all the same, man. In every hood, it was rough, you know what I'm saying? We all got our struggles, though, but life was what we made it, man. We love it down that motherfucker, though, man. You know, you know how that shit go. Right. So, man, go ahead and kind of explain your name for everybody. Man. And the meaning behind it. It's a complicated one right here, man. Like, when you think about, you know what I'm saying, people speak on the king of the jungle, the king of the jungle, and the first thing people come to people's minds is the lion, and first quarter, I'm a Leo, you know what I'm saying, but I, the king of the jungle is really the silverback gorilla, you know what I'm saying, and that shit is really in respect to my dogs and in respect to my hood and in respect to my homies, you know what I'm saying, it's really out the love of my homies, shout out to all my homies, man, shout out to the motherfucking rebels. Shout out to JoJo, man. Shout out to PG, countryside, man. But, like, that's where the silverback part of that shit come from, man. It's not 
clear if you can notice, but Lil Wayne and T.I. is two of my favorite rappers. So the merely part of my name comes out of respect for Lil Wayne in part and out of respect that I got a million flows, I gotta get on anything, you know what I'm saying? I just cut it short, I got a million flows. I'm still back from the the SBA, you know what I'm saying? Shit, it ain't nothing I can't get on, it ain't nothing I ain't gonna ride on, you know what I'm saying? So that's where that shit come from, out of respect for my homies and out of a motherfucking goddamn due respect for Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's who really inspired me to believe in this music shit, he, that it was more to it than just rhyming and just telling stories. Okay, all right. So um, kind of tell us, man, like, how do you get your start in just recording music? Man, I started recording music. I, I got to get out. I got to start with my inspiration for writing music, man. I got to shout out to DSA. Shout out to my homeboy, 803 Showtime. Motherfucking um, G Diamonds. Motherfucking goddamn B Nasty, man. I got to shout out to them boys because they was the local artists, them. Motherfucking goddamn the Nas Squad, Lil Rule, all those guys was the local artists that I had in my ear. Motherfucking goddamn Lord Shank G, Piezo, motherfucking goddamn Jelly Tight. Those were the ones that gave me the inspiration to believe that I could rap from Columbia, South Carolina and do something with this shit. That I could get people to believe that I could do something with this music. So I gotta get a shot at them. They inspired me. But my first start, my first studio song was Gene Ready Boy featuring my goddamn brother DZ and my motherfucking homeboy Boss Hall. We recorded that in Metro Records with my cousin Five Dollars, man. So that he gave me the start of music. He was the first person okay. who ever believed in me, the first person who ever saw it in me. First person who ever told me I needed to get out the streets and make this music happen seriously. So I gotta give a shout out to the camera Jesus Five Dollars. He started me on my music journey. You know what I'm saying? And he the first one made me ever really think about taking it serious. Okay. Sure. All right. So coming up, I know you dropped some names, local names, uh, for us artists that you looked up to. Like, so what are like some of the other artists that you looked up to that were mainstream when you were coming up? Man, mainstream man, like. My two favorite artists, hands down, man, is T.I. and Lil Wayne. All right, what they did is, is they music and also what they did throughout their career, as far as where they came from and where they went in their career, you know what I'm saying? It's two classic stories of the underdog who nobody expected to take over the music game, taking over the music game. And I always loved that about those two, you know what I'm saying? But, all right. I'm from the South, I'm from Columbia, South Carolina, so Pastor Troy, man, Trick Daddy, man, like, I grew up listening to real struggle, Southern trap music, you know what I'm saying, like, real, real live, in the, in the hood music, I listened to Joe the Breeze, you know what I'm saying, when I got old, I liked the crunk music, man, but, like, Southern music was my thing, I, I listened to Up North music, but, I, I'm not one to sit and say I was a big Tupac fan. I was a big Jay-Z fan. I appreciate Tupac music. Right. I appreciate Jay-Z um, Jay music. I appreciate Big music, but I was never a die-hard fan of any one of these artists. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, I, I've never, I've, I can never sit here and fake and say, yeah, I, I'm just a die-hard Tupac fan. Nah, I wasn't. I was a die-hard Pastor Choi fan. Okay. I was a die-hard Trick Daddy fan. Oh, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That dope. Classics. That's what I put in, that's what I listen to. You know what I'm saying? UGK, 8 Ball, Pimp C, Bun B. I listen to Southern music. Yeah. Really Southern OG. Southern music. Yeah. And even that classic OG, West Coast music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Master P, I, you know what I'm saying? Dub C, um, Ice Cube. Man, we still listen to that shit to the day, man. We beat that shit every day, man. Sit in the house, chill, relax. Listen to that old classic music, man. Yeah. So, um, is there a single you pushing right now? Man, I got a couple different projects I'm pushing right now, man. But I'm really, I think I'm about to really push this glue to the trap. Got one of my little partners on there, man. And I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, show him that he got talent and he can't do something with it. So, I think I'm going to push this for him okay. more than for me. But I got a... I got a different, a couple different things. I'm about to come from a couple different angles. So I'm gonna try to really push off more than just that one single, but I don't want to do too much because I don't want people to lose focus. But I got a couple things in the works, man. I just need y'all to stay tuned, fuck with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Go to SBA Music Page, subscribe. Go to my YouTube channel, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Just fuck with me, man. I have my SoundCloud up soon, all that up soon, man. And I have all that on my page, man. Just. 
keep y'all eye on me, man. I promise you, man. Everything I got, man, it's gonna be somebody who's gonna love it. I got something for everybody, man. Like I said, I got a million flows, man. Okay. So, man, we're gonna talk about a particular record that I like. I'll be bumping. You probably don't know I'll bump it, but I'll be bumping it. That woes in the cut. <laughs> Let me know what's up with that joint. That's my shit. <laughs> I'm saying, man, I get a lot of I get a lot of reactions on woes in the cut, man. Okay. It's crazy because shout out to Cusco Fool, man. Woe gang, I see you, bro. I know how I'm coming for you, man. I love that nigga. That's my little eight, man. I love that nigga, bro. Yeah. But like, it's crazy because a motherfucker never believed that we did that song in five, six, seven minutes. You know what I'm saying? Dang. Like. It'll, it'll never be able, unless somebody was there to witness it, they'll never understand that. We walked in my house, mm -hmm. and my little brother played the beat for him, and I say, bro, just come up with a hook. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I do my verse, and I say to you, do your verse. And he say, nah, bro, um, just let me listen to it. All right, bro, I got something for it. When I heard the verse, I had already had, I, when I heard the, um, when I heard the beat, I already had my verse written. It just, it just dropped in my head. I already knew I was going to come. So he came up with the hook and did his verse, and I told him, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? Give me the, give me the headphones. Got on they right behind him, we freestyled the whole song. You know what I'm saying? Off top of our head, no writing nothing, no preparation. He got off the mic, I got on the mic, and that's what we came up with. My little bro mixed it. I love the song. I want to push it, but Cusco got a lot going on right now. Okay. He got his thing going on with Death Go Society. You know what I'm saying? And I want him to stay focused on that project. I don't want him to sidetrack him from that project. So I keep Woes in the cut on the side. And it's more, it's more to come for me and Cusco the Fool, man. Y'all let him know y'all want it. Let him know y'all want it. He going to pull up. That's my little brother, but y'all let him know what y'all want. And we going to give it to y'all, man. All right. So go ahead and kind of talk about um, some short-term goals and long-term goals. Give me one short-term short, short -term and one long-term goal. Man, what short-term goal I'm trying to accomplish right now is just to really legalize everything with my music. You know what I'm saying? And like, and when I talk about everything, I'm talking about on every level. Like, it's something that we really don't stress in the independent scene these days, how much we need to understand about the business world behind music. So my short term going right now is just really focusing on that. I'm saying I'm about to go to school, so I'm about to start school, so I'm about to get to studying on that and just legalizing everything that's to do with my music and my entertainment business. So that's my short term goal, man. Long term wise, man, what can I say, man? Like I'm trying to I'm trying to start a movement, man. You know what I'm saying? SBA Entertainment is not a record label. Don't get it twisted, man. I'm trying to start a movement in South Carolina, man, and it's people who supporting this movement of us supporting each other, man. Like, pay attention to what Texas did. Pay attention to what Atlanta did. Pay attention to what Florida did. I'm telling you, if you are a local artist in South Carolina, open your eyes and open your mind and understand that we cannot do this alone. And that's what I'm trying to show people. So long time ago, man, I'm trying to make SBA Entertainment a brand, a household name to what people know that. This is here to stay, man. You know what I'm saying? This started in the, in the mud. This started in the gutter, but we here to stay, man. We here to show y'all that we are more than just street niggas, man, and we gonna be more than just street niggas. That's real. So, kind of tell me what's your your thoughts or how you feel about the music scene in general right here in the Met. Man, it's it's I got a love hate relationship with the music scene out here because. It's so much talent in the city, man. Shout out to Buck 50. My dog just finished his mixtape, man. Motherfucker Snakes and Gators, man. Shout out to J. Marquise. He just got them drop a single, man. Shout out to Tilt Small. Sue's doing her thing, man. Bossy's doing her thing. Shout out to Mr. Too Pretty. I ain't really, man, done daughter. Like, it's people. Lily Bad Bad. Death Go Society. Woe Gang. Man, listen. Fucking goddamn Slick Rick, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn Slick Rick, Rick, goddamn. All them niggas out there in 48 doing their thing. Everybody in the city is making this music, man, but we gotta support each other, man. Y'all do not understand how important this shit is, man. It don't matter if one of us get on. It don't matter. That shit does not matter if one of us get on if all us hate us. It don't matter. You watch that happen with Lil Rue. You watch it happen with everybody from our city. It don't matter if one of us get on if the whole fucking city hating on us. We gotta support each other because if we support each other and one of us go, 
all of us gonna go, man. If one of us go, all of us going, that's gonna put the spotlight on South Carolina and they gonna see that we are serious about our crowd. We not just doing this shit for fun. We not just doing this shit to throw up gang signs in the hood, man. That's not what this shit for. We not just doing this shit to be out here thugging in the street, killing each other, going to prison, man. Show these people we serious about our crowd. Support each other. Keep that motherfucking beef shit in the fucking hood. Deal with that shit like men, dog. Y'all niggas need to grow up, learn how to sit down and talk to each other and deal with y'all shit like men. You ain't got to fuck with each other personally to deal with each other on the business level, man. At the end of the day, this shit about our kids and shit about their kids, man. If you ain't doing this shit for that, you ain't doing this shit for the right reason. Point blank, period, man. Man, that's, that's real, man. And I feel the same way you feel, you know what I'm saying? I try to talk to people, man. I tell them, man, listen, you might not like that dude, but he might help you make that next move, you know what I'm saying? So keep doing the business level. You ain't got to go to his house and chill with him, bro. Keep and that's where, that's where they get it twisted at, man. Like, motherfuckers fail to realize that this is a business, man. That shit is not just for fun. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Music is an entertainment. This shit is a business, man. I got one thing I want to say, though, man. I got to stop it. It's thunder and light, and I don't want to get caught out here, and I got to address this shit, man. I know a lot of y'all motherfuckers be wondering why the hell I still got on these glasses from the penitentiary. So I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all right now why I got on these glasses from the penitentiary, man. I was in the penitentiary with nothing, man, but what the penitentiary gave me, man. And I wore these glasses and they was good enough for me. And I'm out here with the world at my hand. When I make $50,000, I take these glasses off and I frame them. Until then, y'all gonna see me with these glasses, cause I'm out here just like that. They was good, for, good enough for me then, they good enough for me now, nigga. And that's me, cause this the real me. I ain't fake for nail, nigga. When you see me in the street, I'm really me. I ain't frontin' and fakin', dog. I ain't always fly, I ain't always fresh. I don't keep no jewels on, nigga. I'm really a street, nigga. I'm really out here, and I'm really trying to do something with my life. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no fakin' with me. When you listen to my music, you get the real me. When you see me in the street, you get the real me. When you fuck with me, you get the real me. So pull up, lean with me, man. We gonna do something, man. So when you hit the yo, what are some things you have to have? What you got to have? Man, I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. I swear to God, I ain't gotta have nothing but my motherfucker. One of my niggas and a blunt, dog. You know what I'm saying? And a beat. If I feel it, I'ma feel it. I ain't even gotta have that. Like, I'm blessed, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know no other way to put that shit. Like, right? unless a motherfucker wouldn't understand it unless they see it in their own presence. You know what I'm saying? What happens when I go in the studio? But like, that's just the only way I could put it, man. I'm blessed. I don't, I go in the studio and it happen, man. I don't, I take no credit for it whatsoever because words just fall in my head and that's just how it work. But all I need, man, is that energy, man. Point Black P, that energy and a good blunt, I'm good. I'm going in. Word. So we're going to try something different, man. You're the first artist that came on and we're going to try this with you first. Call the fire round session. I'm going to ask you five quick questions and just drop whatever. You know what I'm saying? Drop your hands. Alright. Alright. So we go fire round. Favorite studio? Shit, my living room, man. My kitchen, man. Alright. Favorite collab or feature? Me and Cusco, man. What was in the cut? I love that song, man. One thing you do every day? I rap every day. I smoke weed every day. I'm in the streets every day. Favorite producer? My favorite producer right now, my favorite producer, Big Peasy, man. You know what I'm saying? Big Peasy, MLB, man. I, that's from from what I just hearing his production on his own shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like getting that professional quality sound. Go check out that live in the dope hole. You think I'm fucking lying? You might get this motherfucker to come out retirement. Check out live in the dope hole, man. The production on that is excellent. But I want to work with. I want to work with every producer in the city, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I like I like being challenged, so I really be like producers to just like, yo, I got this beat for you, yeah. I don't think you can rap on it, so I can show them wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I really want to work with everybody, so I don't want to pick no favorites. All right. Come fuck with me. And uh, favorite album or mixtape? Man, my favorite album, hands down, man, is The Carter, man. You know what I'm saying? My favorite mixtape, I have to be... Damn, now I gotta goddamn go back and change that. My favorite album, The Carter Man, but then I have to goddamn throw Kendrick Lamar 
last album in there. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta do it, goddamn. I love that fucking city. My favorite mixtape, fucking hands now. 500 degrees, man, when we changed the whole fucking game, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, I, I got, I got to. I gotta go with 500 degrees of the squad up mixtapes when we decide to change the whole fucking game, man. Alright. Anybody wanna get in contact with you, go ahead and tell them how they can do that. Man, you wanna get in contact with me, man, you can email me at silverbackamillion719 at gmail.com. That's S I L V E R B A K A M I L L I 719 at gmail.com. You can hit my line directly, 803 465 3121, or you can hit me on my inbox, Silverback Millie. You can hit me on my page, Silverback Millie. That's on Instagram and Facebook. Silverback Millie 719 on Instagram. You can hit me on Snapchat, Silverback Space Amelia. Anyone on, man, you can get in contact with me, man. And before I go, I guess I'll. I rap something for y'all, man. I got something for y'all. Shoot. Alright. Get a little verse for y'all. I just want this money. So I'm cooking this coke and cutting this dope and bagging this weed and serving these wheels. They want it, I got it, come get it, they know. 24 7, I stay on my grind. I'm watching these niggas just playing me close. Cause first they be friends, they introduce ends. The next thing you know, your best friend turning foe. Ain't trusting these bitches. I fuck them and leave them, they shy still fuck. You stop paying attention, they switch their intention. The next thing you know, they be setting you up. I stick to the codes. Go get it, go get it, get money, get cake Forever be loyal to niggas, it's mobbing We rebels intelligent, so we get paid I switched up the hustle and muscle my way in the game Vibe, I get loud with my niggas who stay Right till I die, ain't no way I can change Can see in my eyes, I'll never be faking, I know These niggas, they praying and hoping I fall Fuck it, I hustle, go hard till I get it Stay pimping my piss, they hoping I ball Gone, man. SB ain't this bitch, man. Y'all fuck me, man. Shout out to DME TV, man. Right. Appreciate the love, man. Columbia, man. I see y'all, man. Shout out to Columbia, USA, man. Y'all go tune in to that shit, man. That shit gas. Fuck power. I'm out here, man. Over there. We over there. We over there. Yeah, that way. <laughs>